Rotary axis configuration for the Ford Axis 3020. That's what this video is about. Now for comparison, as your controller might be different, my version utilizes the 3163B three axis stepper driver and the 1635A single axis stepper driver. For software, I'm using the latest version of Mach 3 as of the making of this video. All right, and up to test. All right, now for this rotary axis, first step is we have to enable axis A, and that's just config, ports and pins, enable A. Now I'm just gonna follow the pattern here that's on my computer. And we'll see where that takes us. All right, now we need to go to motor tuning, A axis and put in the steps per unit. In this case, it's steps per degree. So it doesn't matter if your native units are set up for a millimeter or inch. All right, so here at the stepper calculator, and there is a link in the description to where you can download this. For my setup, pulley ratio for the rotary is two to one. And my micro-stepping pulses per step is eight. I just found out that by messing around. Uh, and that gives us our steps per degree. And for velocity, I have mine set at 30,000. That's 30,000 degrees a minute, which really isn't all that fast. But that's going to be the rapid speed. And acceleration is just how long it takes to get there. <laughs> I have mine set at 7,000. Which, as you can see, is just, you know, what, 0 0.07 seconds to reach 30,000 degrees a minute. Reset, and then hit the tab key on your keyboard to bring out the MPG mode. And make sure that we have rotation both directions on our fourth axis. Excellent. Now, positive rotation. When looking at, for example, the x-axis here, if you look from negative to positive, the rotary axis positive will be clockwise. And the same is true for the y-axis, with the exception of now the rotary axis is B, technically. But with this machine and the Mach 3 combination, I find it best just to consider both rotary axis as A and just deal with it through programming. Now there's something weird with this machine. <laughs> Maybe it's just mine, but check this out. When rotating about the x-axis, Rotary positive refers to the tool path direction. When rotating about the Y axis, rotary positive refers to the rotary's physical movement. Now, I don't know why this is right offhand, but it's not a big deal. Before I do any engraving, I always do a single block dry run to make sure it's correct. If it's not, I just reverse it and we're all good. I hope that didn't just confuse you too much. If it did, it'll be okay. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. All right, so now we hit the tab key again to get rid of the MPG mode, and we need to set up some hotkeys. And that's simply config, system hotkeys, A+, plus, whatever key you want it to be, rotational axis A positive. And the same thing for A negative. Now I should be able to use the hotkeys to rotate the axis. Cool. All right, so now we need to go to toolpath and on this rotations area here, use radius for feed rate and A rotations enabled. And depending on how you have your machine set up, whether you have it set up for the A axis or B axis, you'll put in here which direction you're going. That's going to help with the display over here to display correctly your toolpath. Now the use radius for feed rate. If we go over here in settings we're going to put in here our radius of the part or the area that you're going to be engraving or machining. And Mach 3 is going to use that to calculate the surface speed for the rotary axis. And this also helps display your toolpath correctly. 
and you'll notice here radius correct LED that lets you know that there is something in this field if there's nothing in that field then it, your LED will be out uh, one last thing here under general configuration under angular properties and rotational I left all of these to their default settings I haven't had to mess with them okay